We have towers rising into the clouds, buildings diving straight into earth, and one that doesn't even touch the ground. They sound impossible, but every number you'll see here is real. Our story starts in New York, home to one of the strangest skyscraper ideas ever imagined. It's called the Big Bend, a curved tower designed to bend the rules of architecture. Standing 610 meters tall, but stretching over 1,200 meters end to end, it forms a giant U-shape looping over Manhattan's skyline. The idea? To build the longest building in the world, not the tallest. Its elevators would move in curves instead of straight lines, gliding through a shape that redefines what a skyscraper can be. Now imagine the exact opposite, a skyscraper that doesn't rise above the ground at all. Deep beneath Mexico City, architects envisioned the earth scraper. A 65-story inverted pyramid plunging 300 meters underground. Instead of touching the clouds, it transforms the earth below into a vertical city. Natural light would filter through glass floors and walls, illuminating homes, offices and museums for 4,000 people buried deep beneath the surface. It's a design born from necessity. Mexico City's historic center can't expand upward, so they proposed building down. But here's the real question. Would you live in a city completely underground? Thanks for sticking around this far. If scale, numbers and impossible ideas excite you, a like, share or subscribe really helps this channel grow. Let's keep going because it only gets crazier from here. Now push building up to the limit. Japan's Shimizu Megacity Pyramid, a 2004 meter tall giant, 2.4 times taller than the Burj Khalifa, not a tower, but a floating pyramid over Tokyo Bay, designed to house up to 750,000 people in one self-contained city. Made from carbon fiber and advanced lightweight materials, it would pack homes, offices, parks, and transport networks inside a single megastructure, covering nearly 14 square kilometers at its base. It's a vision of the future, but today's technology can't handle the forces or logistics of something this massive. Still, if it ever existed, could you live inside a city floating above the water? We've seen towers that bend, structures that dive deep into the earth, and pyramids that float on water. But now, imagine a skyscraper that doesn't rise from the ground, but hangs from the space itself. This is the Analemma Tower, a concept so extreme, its foundations begin 50,000 kilometers above Earth on an asteroid captured and tethered in orbit. The visible tower, the part where people can actually live, stretches 32 kilometers high. That's 38 times taller.
taller than the Burj Khalifa and even three and a half Everest stacked one over another. Its base floats five kilometers above the clouds. While the top hovers where air pressure is just 0.02 PSI, a place so thin and cold, the temperature drops to minus 40 degrees Celsius. Up there, the sky would turn dark blue even at noon and sunsets would last longer too. 45 extra minutes of daylight every single day. The tower is held by a 35,000 kilometer tether made of 20 to 30 ultra strong cables, each just five to 10 meters thick. These connect the tower to the OUSS node, orbiting at 35,000 kilometers. Above that, the asteroid counterweight keeps it balanced in what's called an eccentric geosynchronous orbit. As the Earth spins, the tower traces a slow figure eight path across the sky, moving faster near the equator at 450 meters per second, but crawling to just 0.3 meters per second when it passes over New York City. Even the windows change, shrinking by about 40% every 10 kilometers downward to offset air pressure and sunlight intensity. If asteroid capture and carbon nanotube tethers ever become real, the Analemma Tower could make gravity optional. Until then, it remains the ultimate question. How far can human ambition rise before the Earth lets go? Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.